Good evening, guys. Good evening, dear. How you doing? Hello. Hi, Ceci. Good evening. How are you? Jonathan, how you doing? How are you? Hi, Miss. Hi, teacher. Hi, how you doing? Good Hi, Silvia. Hi, fine. Good evening. Carla, good evening. Hi, Joel. How you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de? Did you have a good weekend? Hello. Good evening, Miss. How you doing? Did you rest? ¿Pudieron descansar un poquito? Did you rest a little bit? Or did you work? ¿Es Silvia trabajó? Did you work? No. Saturday and Sunday. <coughs> Ambos días, Saturday and Sunday. Ambos días. Oh. oh, that's good. What did you do? So, okay, so Miss, what did you do on Saturday and Sunday? Wash. Okay. <laughs> okay, so wash the dishes or the clothes or both? For for both, um, okay. and, and chicken, um, um, I, uh, so you cooked, um, to, uh, limpiar, uh, las plantas. Okay, so it was time to clean the house. Okay, okay, I totally get it. Guys, what about the rest of you? So were you like Esperancitas, like me and Silvia? <laughs> or did, did you go out? Salieron, guys? Did you do anything interesting? Hicieron algo diferente? Something, I don't know, out of the routine? Did you go to the beach? Hi, Mr. Amaya, great to see you, Jorge, hello. Hi, Catherine, good evening. Okay, hello, teacher. how are you? I really love your, your uh, I don't know what it is, your background, I gotta say. <laughs> it's really interesting. It's Monday. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I cannot, I cannot put them, so I cannot apply them. Yo no los puedo aplicar por alguna razón. I don't know what is going on with mine. Uh huh. But, but I'm really, but it's really cool, guys. Ustedes pueden poner los emojis like Jorge too, como el background and everything. No sé si son las actualizaciones, but we can't. Hi, uh, hi, Maynor, good evening. I think we got somebody else. Well, guys, eh, gracias por acompañarnos. Damos a inicio a la semana número tres. We are starting week number three. Terminamos la próxima. We're finishing next week, you know. So it's really, really fast. Um, and this week is especially important because vamos a estar revisando pasados. We're going to be checking past tenses. Um, vamos a estar revisando verbos. <laughs> We're going to be checking verbs, right? Regular, irregular. And uh, eh, para que no se nos olviden, so we don't forget them. Y podamos ir como ya eh, utilizando, right? Pasados para poder hablar de nuestras activities. Um, today, especially, vamos a revisar, el, vamos a trabajar con verb to be. So I'm going to iniciar only with one of the verbs uh, to start talking about past events. Um, and it's not difficult. It's como en presente, right? El verbo to be solo es cero estar. And in past, it va a ser lo mismo. Yo fui, yo estuve, right? Uh, for personality and things like those. And uh, gracias, guys. Eh, antes que, you know, podamos iniciar. Gracias por eh, completar la plataforma, com por completar los ejercicios. La, may la mayoría ya terminó hasta la sección número cuatro. So, yes, very good job. And uh, now let's get started with today's part. Um, to get started, les tengo por acá one picture. Um, I'm going to 
play i'm gonna show that picture for some minutes to you and i'm gonna uh, i'm going to show this one to you for 30 seconds maximum right and the, uh, cuando el tiempo se termine, when time is over so uh, we go back so please no le tomen captura don't take a picture of this uh, vamos a intentar trabajar un poquito memorization so just try to memorize this um and allow me one second and there we go so this is the picture guys we have a one minute right to look at it i mean 30 seconds look at it no tomen captura don't take it pictured Deme un segundo, que creo que no la ve. okay oh uh, see eleven right you can see this now Yes. Okay. Okay. 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. There you go. So, no los anote, no le tome foto, solamente look. Veanlo e intenten recordar tantos detalles como pueden, as many details as you can. So, the idea is only uh, trabajar un poquito con memoria. So, that's totally fine. Creo que no se ve. Okay. Ten seconds. Okay, guys, and time is over. So let's go really quick into this and uh, let's check if you got that part. Give me one second. Da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a uh, first one minute maximum, right? I'm going to give you one minute para que ahora sí puedan anotar los que recuerdan. So write down the words you remember. Write the objects that you saw y luego los compartimos. Then we share those. So one minute, guys. Take a minute. Joel, ¿cómo siguió? ¿Cómo está su brazo? Hola, hola. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Eh... Ya mejor, ya mejor, voy mejorando. Ya me siento un poco mejor. Ya el jueves me retiran los puntos. Oh, o sea, tenía puntadas. Sí, ajá. Ah, ok, pero no le afecta la movilidad ni nada. No, no, solo de la, la muñeca no le puedo andar haciendo así, ni, ni, pero ah, de la mano. Ah, ok, ok, but, but I'm glad, me alegro entonces que, que vaya bien, you know, that you're Gracias. doing fine. Ok, ok, cool. Hi, Cesar. Good evening. Good evening. Thirty more seconds. Jorge, I look at your camera. <laughs> And that's really funny. Teacher, how do you say candado? No, that's a lot. I'm gonna I'm going to write it here in the chat. That's Thank a lot. Okay, guys, so uh, please tell us what do you remember? Uh, so, no importa que esté bien, que esté mal, it doesn't really matter if we got them correct. So, la idea es solamente practicar un poquito, right? Uh, first, memory, 
and the vocabulary. So what do you have? In the chat, Silvia says scissors, world, a computer, hammer, cake, pencil, clock, a plant, and a telephone. Okay, guys, what else do you have? Butter fry, ice okay. cream, okay. house, okay. chair, chair, chair mm -hmm. guitar, yes. apple, okay. uh, Mapamundi is, a, is the word. But yeah, the glove. Uh -huh. That's the glove. a glove. Uh -huh. um, rainbow. Okay. Uh, lock and plant. Oh, okay. Very good. Guys, do you have something different? Tienen algo diferente or algo más que agregar uh, over here? Rainbow. Okay. Follow mm us. -hmm. Okay, okay, that's all right. So I have some okay. questions for you guys. Um, the, uh, let me just take a look. Uh, the ice cream, okay, the computer lecture plan. Okay, okay, okay. So I have some questions for you. Okay, so you help me guys with these ones. And the first one says, one second, and one sec. Okay, the first one guys, what color? was the door of the house. If you know pink. the answer, okay. pink. pink. Guys, do you agree? What color was the door of the house? Was it pink? Say any color, remember, it's all memory, right? So, no importa si esté bien o mal, usted dígalo, ya sé, guys. So, pink, or do you remember another color? Or you don't remember, that's a super valid too. You I don't remember? remember. You don't remember. remember? Okay, that's okay. Next one. So, what color, what color was the hammer? The hammer, right? Like to to put something on the on the blue. On the wall. Blue? Was it blue? Yes. Okay. Yeah, actually, yes, it was blue. But the door of the house was not necessarily. <clears throat> now, next one. I think was orange. The um, door. Kinda, kind of orange. Yeah, kinda. Okay. Next one. Um in the in the glove, which continent could you see clearly? In the glove, which continent could you see clearly? Clearly, I don't know nothing about the continent. <laughs> okay, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. What continent could you see, like, clearly? There are only five continents. Did you see Europe? Did you see Africa? Did you see America? Uh, did you see, I forgot in the other, Asia? Or did you see the, oh my God, guys, I forgot it. I have forgotten the other one. <laughs> So, but the answer is between one of the four. So, um, oh, el ayudarnos. <laughs> you, I think you know about geography. ¿Cuál es el otro continente? What's the other one? Eh, 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 continente están hablando, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Uh, what's the other one? So, Asia, uh, Europe, America, uh, Oceania. Africa. Oceania. Oh, that one. Okay. Okay, that's the other one. That's Greenland. So, ¿alguien recuerda el continente? Do you remember the continent? No. Okay, that's okay. Creo que pusieron más atención en los objetos, right? <laughs> okay, next question. Sky blue. Okay. It's, oh, the globe was color. Yeah, it was a sky blue color. Next one. How many leaves? does the plant have 
how many leaves? Leaves son las hojas, right? How many leaves does the plant have? I think ten. Ten, okay. Anybody else? Give it a try, guys. Hi, Ivan. Good evening. Hi, Carlos. Nobody else? Five. Ten? Five? Okay, that's all right. Uh, okay, we're going to check it in a moment. Next one. The computer. Was the computer new or old? Old. Old. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, next one, let me see. I was going to ask you something, but too difficult. So hold in a second. Okay, how many colors did, or how many colors was in, how many colors were in the rainbow? How many colors did this rainbow have? Six. Six colors? Yes. Seven. Seven? Okay. Seven. Okay, so seven colors. We're gonna check that in a moment. And my last question. Um, it was about the ice cream. What color was on top of the ice cream? What color was like the ball, right? Like that's the ice cream ball or coin. Uh -huh. No, not the coin, the ball. Like a pink or pink, uh, okay. Or light purple. Okay, light purple. All right, that's okay. So ta -da -da -da. Let me orange. Show you. <laughs> okay. Oh, but that was very close. That was really close. Okay. So yes, this was orange. How many colors do you see in the rainbow? Maybe five. I Four. see red. I see yellow. There is a very tiny light that is uh, uh, yes. green, light blue, and purple, right? Do you see another five. color? No. No, right? That would be it. So one, two, three, four, five. Maybe just five. No sé si el green que se ve es la combinación de los dos tonos, but let's say five. Uh, how many leaves? Cuántas hojas hay, guys? How many leaves? Six. 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 Okay, so you were very close, Sandra. That was really close. What about the continent? So, what continent can you see clearly? America. No, yeah, that was that, America. that's America, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Okay, so here we have a little bit of description. Today, vamos a trabajar un poquito con la parte de um, el verbo to be in past, y lo usamos precisamente para esto, para describir des, uh, uh, para describir objetos, right? Características físicas, colores, uh, o qué es lo que había. So whenever you want to describe, oh, era verde, we say was or were, para hablar de estas descripciones de cosas, right? Uh, for example, the door in the picture, so it was red, right? Si sí, parece kind of pink, kind of orange, but it was red. Now, uh, ¿cómo utilizo was and were? Uh, ambos son los pasados del verbo to be, pero solo lo uso para decir era, estuvo, fue, pero no de irse a un lugar, sino que fue bonito, fue eh, interesante, right? Like, normalmente lo usamos con adjetivos. So take a look at this. We use was and were, or wasn't, and weren't, when we are describing past uh, activities, right? Or feelings in past. For example, we were at a school yesterday. So if I ask you, hey guys, ¿a dónde estuvieron todo el día? Where were you today? ¿Todos trabajaron? ¿Did everybody work? Yes. Okay, or on the weekend. ¿A dónde estuvieron el fin de semana, guys? Where were you on the weekend? I was at home. Okay, Saturday and Sunday, both days. Yeah. Okay, okay. What about the rest of you guys? Where were you? ¿A dónde estuvieron? Where were you? Were you at home? Were you at the beach? 
Where, where you at your parents' house? Um, me some, uh, what's it, it was to be La Valle del Sol. Oh, yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Super, <laughs> Miss, me alegre. Que, pero eso me fue un evento. Ah, no, pero igual lo disfrutó, I guess. <laughs> ok, so, there we come con la parte de cuál voy a utilizar cuando yo tengo I, right? Cuando necesito escribir sobre a mí. Guys, uh, solo existen dos que son was and were. Si yo quiero utilizar I, ¿cuál creen que sería para pasado? Yo estuve. I was. was. I was, exactly. So I was a Bahía del Sol. Very nice. Okay. And me, la envidiamos definitivamente. So I was a Bahía del Sol. So again, voy a utilizar I was para I. Lo voy a utilizar para, wait a second, ya les muestro. Let me show you here. Lo vamos a utilizar, take a look. Utilizamos... Um, Con you, con we, con they, o es decir, con todos los plurales, we are going to use where. My friends were in the forest. You were mean. You were a nice person. You were a good friend, right? We were lost. Estamos perdidas, right? We were lost. O estuvimos perdidas. O perdidos. Uh, they were very helpful. So, again, no estoy describiendo nada más que cómo estuvo una situación, right? O a dónde estuvieron. So, remember, cero estar es was and were. So, yo fui, tú fuiste, o tú estuviste. Estuve en la casa de mi madre. Ah, uh, ok, ok. So, que si quiero decir estuve en la casa de alguien, normalmente decimos uh, como eso yo, right? No puedo utilizar, acá no está I. Entonces, yo utilizo el otro. Eso sería, I was. Y hay dos formas de decirlo. Podemos decir in o podemos decir at. So, I was in my uh, mother's house. I was at my mother's house or I was in my mother's house. So, both are okay. Both are fine. So, por ejemplo, si estuve, I don't know, en la veterinaria porque mi perrito se enfermó. So I was in the vet a clinic or I don't know, I was in, I was working, I was at work, right? Si estuve en el trabajo, podemos decir I was at work. So estuve en el trabajo, right? Again, eso es yo fui, yo estuve, o yo era, que es lo mismo, right? But in Spanish, le damos como muchas más eh, descripciones o mucho más significados. Now take a look. Ahora sí ya tenemos he, she, it, and I. Para ellos yo utilizo was. Oh, it was. Colas, güey. Estuvo bien helado, right? Or I was at home. Yo estuve en la casa. Guys, no sé dónde ustedes viven, pero yesterday en mi casa estuvo horriblemente caliente, horriblemente caluroso. So, how can I talk about the weather? ¿Cómo puedo describir el clima donde ustedes vivieron? So, in my case, I can say it was very hot. Right? So, it was hot. Or very hot. ¿Dónde ustedes viven, guys? What about there? Was it hot? ¿Estuvo caluroso? Yesterday, yes, teacher. But on Saturday, it was raining at the noon. Wow, it was rainy. Okay, okay. That's actually very nice. But you know, it's been interesting because donde yo trabajo, where I work, um, el viernes, last Friday, it was, uh, it was windy. Estaba como bien con viento. It was very windy. And uh, it was cool. It was very cool. So, yeah, creo que el clima está bien loco. I think the weather is really crazy. Uh, so what about in your places, guys? ¿Cómo ha estado el clima? How has it been? It's wet, very hot. It was very hot too? Okay. What about San Miguel, Mr. Amaya? How was it? Si acá está caluroso, no quiero imaginarme. Yes, but yesterday it was raining. 
Oh. In the evening. Ooh. Okay. Yes. And, and today? Uh, no, today not. Okay. Wow. But that is nice, I guess. Do you like the rain? I love the rain. I mean, I think it has to be nice because the weather, you know, or the, the temperature goes down too. So that's important. Okay, okay. Yes, but I love yeah. rainy days. No, I don't like rainy. Well, yes, I like, no, I like windy days. My favorites <laughs> are windy days. Okay, so take a look at this. Um, ¿Qué sucede si no voy a escribir el clima, right? Sino que voy a describir a una persona. Look at this person. Uh, ¿Cómo puedo describirlo? Podemos describir físicamente, no qué está haciendo, sino físicamente, right? O cómo se siente, feelings. O a dónde está. First, ¿a dónde está este, este tipo? Where is this guy? In the street. Okay, so como estoy describiendo algo que pasó. He was maybe, in the street. Uh -huh, so he was in the street, exactly. ¿Qué más me pueden decir de él? What can you tell me about this guy? He was shaking. Ah, very good. So he was shaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, oh, it's so cold. Okay. ¿Qué más, guys? What else comes to your, to your mind? Mm -hmm. He was alone. Ah, very good. Okay, so he was alone. Físicamente, ¿cómo luce? How does, uh, what does it, he look like? He was sad. Oh, very nice. Okay, so in the picture he was sad. Okay, yes, exactly. So, estoy describiendo, no sé cuándo se tomó la picture, right? So, me describe cosas del pasado, things that um, this picture shares, right? And como es él, this is the perfect way to say it. So, he was, si fuera negativa, solamente sería, he was, vengo y le agrego el not, right? He was not sad or he wasn't sad. So, él no estaba triste, right? Or he was not alone or he was not very thoughtful. So, that's the one. Preguntas, guys, hasta ahorita. Do you have any question? No, teacher. No. No. Okay. 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 Very nice. So let's move on then. Let's take a look at a little bit. So here we have part of the description, right? So we say I, he, she, or it was. Y tenemos también los plurales, you, we, they, where. So this is the most common uh, grammar description. Los negativos, solo les agregamos not. Or la negativo de was sería wasn't. La negativo de were sería weren't. Y eso es todo. That's pretty much it. So, uh, guys, vamos a hacer un recordatorio de cómo eran ustedes. How were you like, I don't know, 10 years ago? ¿Cómo eran, guys? How did you behave? Were you different? So, take a look at the following. 10 years ago. Sí, la mayoría estamos mayores, así que nada. <laughs> okay, take a look at the following. Uh, we are going to try to complete the following statement. And it says uh, 10 years ago. Uh, por el momento, guys, no vamos a describir actividades, no vamos a describir qué es lo que hicieron, qué es lo que no hicieron, eh, para irlo tomando espacio, right? And what I want you to do is um, emocionalmente, physically, uh, personality. Um, ¿Cómo eran, guys? Or uh, si tenían cabello corto, cabello largo. Or eran delgaditos, or eran bien callados, o eran bien hablantines, o qué tan diferentes son de hace 10 años. Or eran más enérgicos, right? Did you have a lot of energy? Or not much? Or eran más atléticos? Were you more athletic? So I'm going to ask you guys to, I'm going to give you some minutes 
para que puedan hacer una pequeña descripción de cómo eran físicamente, cómo se comportaba right in anything. So, uh, 10 years ago, I think I was a little, um, okay, I was thinner. So, era un poco más delgada. Ahora ya no. <laughs> Not anymore. That's so sad. Okay, so I was thinner, right? Um, I was, oh, okay. So, my hair, my hair was uh, curly. Right, so my hair was really curly. Uh, ahora me lo aliso, so it is not. But my hair was really curly. And uh, my eyes were... Um, honey, yellow. Um, no, they were not like that. My eyes were... Oh my God, what? Okay. Or I'm gonna write it here. Light brown. Okay, my eyes, eh, no son oscuros, but 10 years ago, eran muy claritos, right? So they were like um, a light brown tone. Um, what else? Oh my God, what else, what else? I was um, less, Talkative, okay. So, hablaba menos. Ahora hablo mucho. <laughs> so, I was less talkative 10 years ago, right? And I was very um, passionate with my studies. Okay, and 10 years ago, obviously, we are young and everything. So I was very passionate with my studies and I was more athletic. I was more athletic. 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 There you go. Okay, now not anymore. <laughs> it's really hard to do exercise. Okay, so this is me like 10 years ago. Uh todavía estaba en los 20. I was like 20 something years old, right? Um, and a lot of things have changed. Guys, what about you? So, ¿qué tan diferentes son? Like 10 years ago. Uh, I don't know. Si quieren agregar su estado civil, that's totally fine. I was single or I was uh, fishing. <laughs> that's totally fine, right? As long as we use English, that's all right. Uh, solamente recordarles uh, que se puede utilizar Por ejemplo, uh, mi cabello, so I can say my, my hair, como es singular, my hair was, my eyes, como es plural, utilizo where, my eyes were, mis ojos eran, right? Mi cabello era, my hair was. Um, si yo quiero decir mi piel era, de la misma forma, my skin was, right? Because, porque se considera singular, this is singular. Si quieren decir yo tenía, vamos a cambiar el verbo to be. Y el pasado de tener es have. So I have. También pueden agregarlo, like yo tenía. And uh, you can add it as well, no problem. Guys, tenemos un minuto para completarlas. Let me know si necesitan ayuda, please.
One more minute, guys. How do you say physicamente in English? Um, that's physically. Physically, okay. Mm -hmm. Physically. Thank you. Physically. Mm -hmm. That's physically. Are we ready, people, or do you need more time? Ready, ready? Were you able to write a little bit about you? Pudieron describirse, guys? Did you find a way to describe uh, yourself physically? Uh, tienen dudas? Do you have an equation, a doubt? What are we? Okay, are we fine? Can we get a started? Okay, guys, so let's take a look. ¿Qué tanto han cambiado? How much have you changed? Um, so, are you different? ¿Hay alguien que sea como muy diferente de hace 10 años? Like, super, super different? Or too much?
Uh, Silvia, hi Juan Antonio, how are you doing? Mr. Reyes, how are you? So, ¿Qué tan diferentes son, guys? Are you like mm -hmm. really you, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Sandra, tell us, ¿qué tan diferentes? How different are you? Well, uh, my hair was curly, curly, and some parts have um, a little parts a uh, white hair. Mm, I I was mas, I was more respons responsible with mm, my not, any, not anymore. <laughs> yes, yeah, no? but uh, less uh, middle. Okay, middle. okay. Uh, middle responsible with my my team, and I was less collaborative with my coworkers. Wow, oh, that's really nice. Okay, okay, so very good. I really like it. So I would you the mask. Now you help more. So, okay, they're really cool. Eh, solamente with this word, con gray hair, me imagino que se refería como a las canas, right? Well, we normally yes. call canas. Uh, okay. Un mechón, nada más. Ah, okay, <laughs> Un okay. mechón. De but, hecho, no se le nota, ajá, desde acá no se ve el color del cabello, but... Eh, so, canas in English, le llamamos gray hair. Uh -huh. So, eso es raro, you know, because normally okay. they have another color, but yeah, we call them gray hair. Ah, okay, okay. But that's a nice description. That's a really good one. Okay. Physically, eh, no ha cambiado mucho. You're not that different? Um, physically, no. I, I, I save in my weight. Okay. Yes, and uh, but I I was in practice a uh, sport. Ah, uh, and now you practice. No, uh, ten, 10 years ago I was a uh, practice practice ah, a sport. I okay. played basket. I played basket. Oh, that's very nice. Yes. Okay, uh, uh, see, Sandra, are you toy? Uh, no, one sixty, one sixty two. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yes, and um, today I, I wasn't practicing. You don't practice Practical. sports anymore. Okay, okay. Thank you. That's a very nice description. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, tell us, cuéntenos, how different are you? Uh, Silvia, are you, uh, Silvia, <laughs> are you that different? I know. Yeah, Silvina, yes. tell us. I was younger. Okay. Um, I was single. I was fat. Very fat. Okay. I wear long hair. Long hair. Okay. I so was you, you have long hair now? You said you, you had long hair. Y ahora, and now? Um, Is it short? Eh, eh, como, como se dice, o sea, sí lo tengo largo, pero no como antes. Era como si largo. So it was really long. So era como muy largo. It was very long. Sí. Okay. Hasta las rodillas? Um, abajo de la cintura. Oh, that was very long. And now? Uh, a los hombros. No, okay, it's kind of short. Okay, it's kind of short then. All right, what else? I was playful. Okay. I am. Um, I had wire teeth. Yeah. Yeah, I had lighter skin. You had fair skin. Um, can you repeat the last one? So you had fair skin. I didn't get that part. 
like that thing. Oh, okay, okay, lighter. Yeah, got it, got it. Okay. Okay, okay. Sounds actually very good. What about personality? Are you very different? Are you a little different? I can be much or not much in personality. So your personality is different. Okay, guys. Okay, ya nos va a contar, no worries. Um, just a little something, you know. Uh, personally, a mí no me gusta la palabra fat. <laughs> because uh, la siento muy, eh, la siento muy, um, yeah. I feel it like very, um, I don't know, like not, not for people. Hay muchas formas de decir como rellenito, right? So quizás la más común es esa, that would be fat. Personally, I don't like it, pero ustedes lo pueden utilizar, no problem. So eh, hay otra forma de decirlo, por ejemplo, heavy, right? So I was heavy and uh, it's un poco más, uh, I don't know, um, a little bit more polite, let's say. And esa, esa palabra también que es plop. So plump es como rellenito, right? So, que son un poco menos pesadas, I think, that fat. So, it's up to you lo que ustedes quieran utilizar, right? Um, uh, but personally, um, I don't like the word fat. <laughs> but it's up to you, no problem. So, okay, okay, okay. Guys, let's do the following. Acabamos de escuchar a Sandra, we heard Silvia. But now it's important que trabajemos también nuestro listening, right? That we try to understand our classmates. So let's do the following. Vamos a ir un momento a los grupos. We are going to move to the groups. And uh, um, please, necesito que escuchen al compañero. Listen to the description. Pero guys, no les vayan a traducir. No se los digan en español. Don't say it in Spanish. Si quieren decir algo, um, like, cómo eran, how you were, y el compañero no le comprendió, um, busque tal vez sinónimos, otras formas, en the dictionary, really quick, um, or uh, intente decirlo de otra forma. Ahorita solamente estamos practicando I was, tal vez I have, the youtuber, right? Uh, but please, no les vayan a traducir. Do not translate it. Porque si los traducimos, eh, estamos eh, evitando que el compañero trabaje el oído, right? Porque si le damos la información en la boca, en in a way, tenemos que, nuestro cerebro tiene que entender que me tengo que enfocar en esos sonidos. Ya sabemos que I was, es yo era. Entonces ahí no tenemos problema. Solamente de ponerle atención a la siguiente palabra. So I was not, or I was, right? Y luego el complemento. So guys, uh, intenten contarle a los compañeros, try to tell your classmates, ¿Qué cambios han tenido? How much you have changed, but sin utilizar español. Do, do not say it in Spanish. That's really, really important. Um, give me just a moment. Uh, I'm going to make some groups uh, para que los puedan contar, so you can try to say it. Uh, si no recuerdan cómo decir something, right? Um, en el diccionario, cuando ustedes entran y buscan una palabra, Dear, ustedes pueden encontrar, you can find eh, la pronunciación también. Entonces le pueden dar perfectamente clic in the pronunciation and um, you will get it there. So give me just a moment. Guys, tengo a alguien que esté trabajando o alguien que por alguna razón no va a poder participar. Please escríbame en el chat just to make sure. That Eh, creo que no he escuchado. I haven't heard Ivan y Jonathan. No sé si están por acá, guys. I don't know if you're here. Juan Antonio, are you here? Just to make sure. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. So vamos a, a quedarnos por acá. We're gonna like go ahead and practice this. Me just a moment. Ah, ok, gracias Iván, thank you. Ok, Mr. Maya, nos quedamos acá. Eh, Jonathan me confirma si está por acá. Nos quedamos in the station. Con Antonio, quedémonos acá. 
Sandra en Silveinas. Quedémonos sí, teacher, aquí estoy, solo que tengo problemas con la cámara. Ah, no se preocupe, lo, lo importante es escucharlo. <ríe> so we can hear you, that's fine. Thank you. Bueno, nos quedamos por acá en, para que se puedan compartir. You can take notes. Um, you can write down. Si realmente no le comprenden una palabra, guys, pidan que se la deletre. Uh, I'm sorry, how do you spell that? Can you spell that, please? But sin usar español, please. Do not use Spanish. Guys, tenemos cinco minutos. So please share that with, uh, share what you have or your changes with the rest of the group. So the classroom is yours, guys. Um, so guys, si ya están listos, you can get started, uh, you can begin sharing. Creo que algunos compañeros, uh, like Ivan, cannot participate. I think no he escuchado minor, so you let, let us know. And no estoy segura si Ivan está con nosotros. Uh, Ivan, are you working? I don't know if she's working. Uh, but guys, the rest, uh, I think I heard Jonathan, uh, Sylvie's here, and uh, Mr. Anmaya, I believe, is here. Juan Antonio, too. Um, I'm not sure if Karen. So, guys, you can get started. I'll see you in some minutes. Hello. 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 Hello, my North. Who be beginning? ¿Qué vamos a hacer, compañero? Hola. Hola. Describe, describe us. Buenas noches, me confirman este, si la licenciada está brindando la clase, todo bien, se le cayó el internet, o me podrían confirmar, por favor. Yo creo que entre los otros grupos. Yes, she's recording. Y estamos recibiendo la clase. Sí, okay, estamos en salas. Actualmente estamos sí, en salas. Sí, en salas. Yes, ah, vaya, para la la Muchísimas gracias. Bueno, excelente teacher. Yes, the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Who's beginning to the presentation? Hey, Sandrita or Silvia. Hello, Karen. You. Hi, Sandrita. Okay. Nice. Okay. Ten years I ago, I was more impatient and a little bit shy. Uh, for my physical, I was more thinner and my hair was large, maybe at the middle of the back and the color was a little bit red. And 
I was single and I I wasn't I wasn't a, a aunt like now. Um what else? And I I was in the university, finished my career. That's all. Who else? What is the the next person? You, Sandrita. Excuse me, uh, one second, guys. Sorry. Okay. Jonathan, Yvonne. Hello. Okay. Describe Jonathan. Describe El you. El pasado. Yes. Describirme. Ten years ago. Ten, uh, ten years ago. Karen, Karen, me debo de describir. Sí, usted, okay. pero hace diez años. ¿Qué hay de diferente uh, hacia ahora, hace diez años? Uh, well, I was um, live in Sonsonate. Okay. I was study in my career. And I was delgado, ¿cómo se dice? Thinner. I was, yo estaba, ¿verdad? I was, I was thinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, study English, in direct English, but no aprendí bien. <laughs> La dejé. Okay. And finally, I was a singer. Okay. Good. And Somebody you, else? Or somebody else? Sandrita or Silvia, Catherine, Maynard. Juan, Iván. Juan. Okay. Carlos Maynard. Well, I. Catherine Diet. <laughs> I was okay. thinner. I was pretty. Uh, I was quiet. <laughs> uh, I was studious. ¿Cómo se dice estudioso? Studious. Studious. Uh -huh. Yo estaba estudiando o, o, o cómo se, se no, quiere yo referir. Yo era estudiosa. <ríe> yo, es, yo era estudiosa. Como aplicada. <ríe> Ajá, algo así. Ah, no, eh, no, no, sí. I was my hair eh, long y I was higher color black. Ok. Now who? who I was dancing with my wife. Okay. I was younger. Me. Well, I, I was... I was plump. I was plump. <laughs> I, I was my, oh, yes, my hair was curly and black and gray hair, but now uh, it's different. Is uh, I forget the name, the words. Please, so. I'm straight. That's right. Okay. Um, I was less serious or more serious? Less serious. And I was more collaborate with my co workers and I was athletic. I was more athletic many years ago <laughs> and <laughs> I was less taking 
13. Sorry. Okay. Other person? Me. Okay. I was little. I was dinner. I was quiet. I was rest rest. Mm, I had small hair. Hi, hair. Cabello hero hi hi hey hey I was more studios uh, I had good eyes eyes sim I was more athletic okay finish Who wants to participate? Me. Okay. I was younger. I was blue. I was single. Wear long hair. Hair, red hair. I, I was lazy. I was more athletic. I was studying. Only. Okay. Hello guys, how are you doing? Did you finish? Did you listen to your classmates? Did you describe uh, physically, personality, how you have changed? Missing some person teacher or talk. Uh, okay, creo que algunos are gonna be listeners, but quienes les faltan? Who are you missing? Creo que veo el audio de Iván abierto. I don't know if Ivan ya les contó. No. I don't, I don't know, teacher. Uh, what is it, Ivan? Yes. Uh, um, I was, I was a waiter at his restaurant. Okay. Uh, why 17 GR? <laughs> oh, and you were a waiter. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's okay. I play play soccer. Uh, oh, I was more athletic. Okay. I was thin. 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 Delgado. Thin. <laughs> thin. Thin. Okay. You were thin. Okay. Uh huh. I was not father. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, I start is a school, high school. Okay, ten years ago. Hi. Ten years ago, hace diez años. Ten years ago. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Comenzaba el bachillerato. Oh, hi. yeah, you started okay. high school. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Um, Sama. Solamente. That's it. Okay. Okay. That's it. All right. Okay. Actually, that's a very nice description. I like that you included details like I was a, you were a waiter and you were not a father. So that's really, really good. Okay. Uh, so, mm, Ivan, solo una cosita. I don't know. Es, yo no sé. <laughs> so just be careful. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, creo que le escuché, I don't know, but in a different scenario. So that's like, you know, say, right? O no sé. Um, that was very nice. Uh, guys, ¿quién, ¿quién le hace falta? Who is missing? 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 Who is missing?
Jonathan, ya, ya les comento un poquito. Eh, yeah. Mr. Amaya, come on, we're missing you. <laughs> so, 10 years ago, tell us about it. 10 years ago, I was 18. Oh, okay. Oh, you're very young. All right. Yes. <laughs> okay. But I think that I, I am the same person. Like I was in uh, 10 years ago. Okay. <laughs> mm. How were you like? Um, in that moment, I was teeny. But I always think that I was that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that I was teeny, but I was always thinking that I was fat. Oh, okay. So right now, at the moment, are you thin? No. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yes, but no. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> No, but when I was 18, I was teeny, but I was thinking that I was fat. Yeah, I know the feeling, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I always. Um, I don't remember what I, what I was doing in that moment. I think that I was in, just in my house. I don't do anything. Did you study? Did you work? I think that I was finished my my study. Okay. Yes. And I started um, to work uh, when I was 19. Oh, all right. Yes. What about personality? <laughs> I don't know. I think I, I always um, be a shiny person. Um, a shy or a shiny? A shy, a shy, shy Are you shy? shy? Are you shy? shy? <laughs> Are you shy? A little bit, yes. Okay. Yeah. You don't sound like a shy person, but okay. Yeah, maybe in that in, in that point of my life. Okay. In that I I'm better. Oh, all right. Yes. And I am not very uh, social person. I don't have friends. Okay. Like always. Yeah, and that's it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you don't sound like a shy person. Uh, guys, <laughs> do you have any question for Mr. Amaya? No questions for Carlos? Why? They are very quiet. Why do you see you won't have friends? What? What do you see? What do you see? Say. Do you don't have friends? Is the correct answer uh, question? Yes, yes. Why do you say you don't have friends? Because I am a um, very antisocial person. Yeah, me too. I I don't have very social, but I have friends. Very uh, close I and. I have very selective with my friends. But I'm nothing with that. I uh, I I am I don't have any friends. I don't have. I so do. you prefer yeah. to to like Be to alone. spend the free uh, yeah, to spend your free time on your own. Yes. Or to cultivate yourself. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. But I guess maybe your family is very, or you are close to your family, probably. Yes. Okay. Yes. So they are kind of your friends too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Very interesting. I discovered a couple of things today. I was like, what? You're not shy. Creo que con alguien más me pasó. También I was like, what? <laughs> okay, I, I think I discovered really interesting things. Maynard, hi. Hi. Hi, nice to hear you. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Uh, I'm fine with you. I'm doing great. Uh, so are you with us? Did you complete the activity too? Did you um, write your description? No, es que acabo de llegar a mi casa. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, okay. That's totally fine. So, but cuando ya esté, you know, settled at home, cuando ya esté eh, descansando and you get ready, si nos comparte, Escuché that would be very nice. Te estaban describiendo cómo eran hace 10. Estamos ¿Cómo? describiendo cómo éramos, you know, hace 10 años utilizando was and where. Mm -hmm. so mm. Like, I was, uh, si eran, I was algunos estaban child. pequeñitos. Ok, yeah, ok. So you were a child. I have, a, I have 12, 12 years. Um, What? You were 12? I was how? Oh my God, you are the youngest. <laughs> Creo que es el más pequeño yes. entonces del grupo. So you're the youngest in the group. Yes. Okay. I have uh, 20, 22 years. I am, I am, I am 22. I am, I am okay. 22 years. Okay, um, so. Uh -huh. I was playing football with my friends in the street. Okay, oh, that's nice, okay. After school, obviously. Okay. And no, no sé qué más comentar. No, no, no. You're doing fine. Estás haciendo super bien. Now, physically, personality, uh, ¿cómo era? How were you like? Uh, were you a shy person? Were you friendly? How was your personality? Uh, era, ¿cómo se dice? Callado, pues. Guys, are you only a man or how do you say callado? O callada? Callado. Los quiet adjetivos? person. Okay. Okay. Quiet, very good. I was Thank so you. quiet. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Los adjetivos en inglés no tienen, eh, no tienen eh, género, right? So género. para hombre o para mujer usamos la misma. Mm -hmm. I was quiet. Okay. ¿Qué más? What else? Eh, athletic. Ah, okay. Very good. Are you still athletic? Perdón. Are you right now? Are you athletic? Todavía es uh, atlético? No. You're not. Okay, that's no, alright. I know I can't have tiempo. I know, I know, I know the feeling. Okay, okay. Oh, that was good. That was really nice. Thank you, Maynor. Qué agradable escucharlo. Nice really meet nice you. to hear you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> No sé, yo creo que ya lo había escuchado antes, but, but I'm very glad to hear you again. Ok, guys, so, um, ¿qué, ¿qué recuerdan de los compañeros? ¿Qué les llamó la atención? Did anything call your attention about the rest of these guys? ¿Qué escucharon de los compañeros, guys? What did you hear about them? Guys, quick question. Alguien tiene ojos claros? Does anybody have like eye color eyed? No. Okay, thank you, Joel. O oh, alguien tenía el cabello cast. I don't know, blonde. Hay niños que tienen como el cabello de de colores, right? Or something. No hay nada que les haya parecido different. Yes, teacher. What was it, Silvia? Mm. No remember. Um, 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 como um, este sombra. Sombra. Sí, un compañero dijo que era este. Shadow. 
quiero ver la palabra. Es que esa, esa es la palabra que me llamó la atención. Ok. Que él era eh, como selectivo, pero eh, comprendí de que él eh, esta, esta era un poco in, invisibilizado. Entonces era como... No sé, pero él dijo la palabra y a Sandra se lo preguntó también. Mm, mm, I, don't, mm, I don't know if that was Carlos who yeah. you're talking about. Mm, like, but, well, Carlos mentioned that he didn't have too many friends, pero no sé si se refiere a eso. Sí, pero él utilizó una palabra que esa me llamó la atención y es, empecé a anotarlo y no sé dónde dejé. Quería conocer la traducción. Mm, ok, but the, do you remember? ¿Se recuerda cómo se pronunciaba? Do you remember that part? Shy, algo. Oh, shy. Shy. Ok. Ok, ya, yeah. shy es como tímido, right? Cuando uh -huh. somos pequeños, la mayoría somos como bien tímidos o bien calladitos. That, would, that would be shy. Shy. Mm -hmm. That would be shy. Ok, ok. That sounds actually Thank very you. good. You're welcome. All right, guys. Si se recuerdan hace un par de días, eh, les pedí que escribieran, eh, que escribieran la respuesta a la pregunta What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Porque también ahí podemos agarrar vocabulario para describir nuestra personalidad, right? Preguntas con el WhatsApp, con el Word. Do you have an equation? Estamos bien hasta acá. Are we good? Teacher, yo tengo duda. Dígame, say it. Entonces sería, agua es siempre en pasado, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero el Word lo voy a utilizar cuando... Lo va a utilizar también para pasado, pero depende de usted a quién esté escribiendo. Si se recuerda en presente, en present, permítame, lo voy a escribir acá, I'm going to write it here. So, in present, utilizamos I, you, she, she he, and it. Usamos mm -hmm. los plurales de and we. So, yes. in present, lo que hacemos es conjugar el verbo um, to be y uh -huh. tenemos am, um, is, and uh -huh. I. Entonces, acá estamos haciendo exactamente lo mismo. Pero la diferencia es que en vez de utilizar I am, um, yo voy a utilizar I was. I was. Mm -hmm. En vez de you, you are, este are se convierte en you were. Where? Uh -huh. Por eso es que vamos haciendo el cambio. So, she was. Estoy no. diciendo lo mismo en pasado. Ella fue. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Él fue. Was. It was. It was. Y ah, ah, por they... ejemplo, si quiero What? decir, ayer fue domingo. ¿Cómo uh -huh. dice ayer fue domingo? Uh -huh. Yesterday. It was Sunday. So, porque uh -huh. estoy describiendo un objeto, un día, el clima, etc. Uh -huh. Si fuera way, eh, I mean, si uh -huh. fuera day, en presente yo uso day well. Pero como uh -huh. lo voy a hacer en pasado, ahora uh -huh. cambio a word. Uh -huh. Lo mismo con we. We uh -huh. are se convierte en we were. Entonces, siempre que eh, hagamos cambio a pasado, nos tenemos que recordar que depende cuál es el sujeto que usted tenga. Uh -huh. Es uh -huh. la forma que vamos a usar. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. here, yo no puedo utilizar I were. Mm, eso no uh -huh. se puede. This is not possible porque la regla solamente me dice que singulares van con was, uh -huh. en plurales van con were. Uh -huh. Ah, de acuerdo. Gracias. You're welcome. Guys, ahora que Silvia mencionó esto, solamente uh, eh, dígame, dígame. I have a question. <coughs> Is there you singular? Oh, lo que sucede es que con you puede ser usted o ustedes. Pero so, como no sé exactamente si es uno o son Siempre varios. Sería... Yes. No hay forma de decir you was. No, okay. We cannot say that. Uh -huh. um, guys, solamente para recordarles salir little bit. Cuando yo describo la edad en presente, digo, por ejemplo, eh, si yo tengo, yo tengo, digamos que 20 años. So I am 20 years old. 
si quiero decir cuando yo tenía 10 años, look at this. 10 years old. Yo sigo hablando de mi edad. ¿Cuál creen que es el verbo más adecuado para completar acá? When I was or when I have. Solo puede ser uno de los dos. Which do you think? I have. When I have. When I was. Si se fijan, hicimos el when cambio acá. Si digo I am, el pasado es I was. Si digo you are, el pasado es you were. Entonces lo único que voy a hacer, no voy a cambiar el verbo. Voy a cambiar solamente la conjugación. So el pasado del verbo to be, I am, es I was. So siempre que digo la edad, a pesar que en español yo lo traduzco como cuando yo tenía, cuando él tenía, no puedo utilizar el verbo have. So esto de acá se, lo desecho, right? I'm not going to use it. And I say, when I was 10 years old, right? Si quiero decir, por ejemplo, cuando mi hermana tenía 10, lo mismo. When she or when my sister, when my yeah. sister was 10 years old. Porque son edades y para edad solo es permitido el verbo to be, right? Only verb to be. Uh, just for you to, to have it there too. Eh, más preguntas, guys. I like it. Hagan preguntas, guys. Ask questions. No se queden con la duda, please. Don't keep doubts. Questions? Doubts? Estamos bien? Are we okay? Are we good? Okay, okay. I'm going to take the silence as I yes. All right, very good, guys. So let's go ahead and let's practice because um, la única forma de que pasado se convierte en algo fácil es que es a través de la práctica, right? So, eh, no tiene sentido que yo les explique si no lo vamos a utilizar. So, let's do the following. Vamos a, a utilizarlo right now. And we are going to do this as a group. Le voy, les voy a mostrar, I'm going to show over to you uh, some descriptions of people. And uh, ya todos están fallecidos. All of them are dead. They are very famous people. And what I want to do, you guys, is poder describir una breve um, description, summary, uh, lo que ustedes sepan de estas personas, whatever you know about them. Como no vamos a utilizar otros verbos ahorita, podemos describirlos físicamente, um, personality, quiénes eran, cuántos años tenían, right? Um, podemos utilizar también de dónde eran, como they were in USA o dónde vivían, for example. And um, cuántos años tenían y todo lo que ustedes se les vaya ocurriendo, right? Con was or were. So this is the first person I have. Um, this was uh, Michael Jackson, right? I think you know him. Now the point is, ¿quién era, right? Who was this person? Uh, why was he famous? How old was he, right? Was he millionaire? Was he a good singer? So what can you tell us about this person? Hagámoslo, hagámoslo que entre todos, guys, because because of the time, it's gonna kill us. So take a look at this one. Um, what can you tell me about Michael? Oh, first, are you a fan? Do you like Michael Jackson's music? Some music. Some, okay. Some music. Okay, okay, so what do you think about this one? Who was he? Or what do you know about him? He was a singer. Okay. He was a dancing. Okay. He was the king, the pop. Ah, okay, very good, uh-huh. Más, he, was a, he was a group. He was in a group, yes. The Jackson Five. Jackson five. Yeah, Jackson right. Uh -huh. five. Yes, he was in a group. Very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. ¿Qué más, qué he, más, was a, he was king. 
pop music. Okay, so yeah, he was the king. Teacher, you hair, you hair is curly, yeah? Uh, no, because me dice your hair, your hair, me está escribiendo el mío. ¿Cómo ah, no sería aquí. Sería aquí. His hair. His hair. Here, here. Uh -huh. Here, ajá. Uh -huh. Was curly. Yes, very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. His hair was curly. Yes. ¿Qué más, guys? Come on, you're doing fine. You're doing a good job. He was a compositor. Ah, okay. He was a compositor. Composer, yeah, he was a composer. Mm -hmm. Él escribía las canciones, yes. He was in a horror movie. Really? Where? Muerto viviente. It's a thriller teacher. Ah, okay, okay. So he was in a horror movie or a horror video, I think. I don't know. Okay, It's a thriller. Video. Yes, Mr. Amaya. He was born in the United States. Okay, he was born in the United States. Mm -hmm. He was right. Uh, we are the world. Oh, okay. So he, he wrote that song. I don't know if he wrote it, but he sang it. Okay. He, he was, was part of the song. Got it? He was married with Lisa Marie Presley. Ah, okay. Yeah, he was married. Was he divorced? Or did he divorce? I don't know. Yes. Maybe yes. He divorced. Okay, I get it. Okay. He had dark edges. Ah, okay. So he had dark. I think, yeah. Okay. But but his skin was not um light, right? His skin was not light. No, he, no. he was changed his the color. So he the changed color. the color, right? Okay. Do you think? Uh -huh. Yes. Como se dice, como se dice en inglés la enfermedad que él tenía. ¿Qué tenía? <laughs> What did he esa, have? Vitiligo. Ah, addiction. He was <laughs> addicted. Oh, but he was addicted to what? To Addict drugs? Yes. Or yes. alcohol? Who was died for a drug? Drugs. An overdose, right? Yes. Yes, he died of an overdose. Wait, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, so let's get it here. I'm not sure if that is true or false. Which one? That that he was addicted? That, no, the, he... Dice for a vitiligo. Uh, I'm sorry, of an overdose. Uh huh. Oh, I don't know. There are. Es que hay muchas teorías conspiratorias. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, sir. You know. Yes, but yeah, we don't. We don't really know. So, um, by the end of the day, you know, son secretos que se llevan. So. Uh, it's pronounced vitiligo. I'm gonna write it in the chat there. Vitiligo. Very interesting. No sabía que tenía esa enfermedad, you know. Pensé que se había hecho cambio. I thought that he had cancer or he changed his skin. Okay. Okay. Very cool. All right, guys. Very nice. Let's go with the second person. Ta -da -da -da. So this is. Oh, look at him. Who is it? Paul Walker. Okay, so what can you tell us about Paul Walker? Can you escuchar or what do you know? It it was in La Libertad. Beach. Okay, he was in La Libertad. And he loves El Salvador. Okay. Was he American? Era Estados Unidos, guys. Do you know? Was he American? In theory. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't really know. So probably. Okay. 
Uh, what else? ¿Qué más nos pueden decir? What else can you tell us about this? Um, he was an actor. Okay, he was an actor. Okay. He was an actor. actor. Um, okay, so he was in Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. Mm -hmm. He was a super a, a accident, a car accident. Okay, so he's a, yeah, he had a car accident. He he was uh, he had that he was a blue eye. Mm, he had blue? in este caso si, he he has, a, yeah he had or his eyes were. I'm gonna write it. That's a very good point, sir. Uh, he had blue eyes. Uh -huh. Or puedo decirlo también. His eyes, como sus ojos, his eyes. Y necesito plural were blue. Ambos son posibles. Yes. He was very handsome, right? Yes. yes. A lot. He was very, <laughs> very attractive. Okay, I think we agree. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. What else? What else can you tell us about this guy? He was only children. He was an only child. It. Oh, he had a daughter. Okay. Yes, he had, okay. He had a daughter. Okay. Yeah. Como en este caso quiero decir, él tenía, entonces si lo cambio, he had. Mm -hmm. So he had a daughter. Okay. Okay. That's all right. That's really good. And vamos con el último. Da, da, da. This is a girl. So, da, 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 da. there we go. <laughs> Marilyn Mom. Yeah, that's Marilyn. What do you know about Marilyn? She was a singer. She, she, was, a she singer. was a blonde hair. Okay. She was married with uh, uh, the uh, base. I don't know how do you say baseballista. Um, I don't know. Remember baseball player? Yes. I don't know. Maybe I I remember she was a, a, an affair with the president. Oh yeah, I remember that with John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. I remember that. Okay. What else, guys? He was an intelligent intelligence quotient like uh, Albert Einstein. I read that. Really? She wasn't yeah. okay. She was yeah. influencer woman. She was an influence. She was a real influencer, I think. Uh huh. Back in the in the fifties, no right? In qué tiempo estuvo viva? The twenties, the thirties. I'm not sure. Yes. But like she was born time. 1962. Oh, in the sixties. 1962. Yes. Okay, so in the fifties and the sixties. Okay. Yes, Joe Di Maio was her. Husband. Eddie Mayo. Yes. Joe oh. Di Mayo. Okay. Joe Di Mayo. I thought she was single. I don't know for some reason. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good job, guys. Very nice description of these people. Excellent. Okay. Now let's do the following. Now, vamos a intentar. I'm going to give you one minute. All right. And guys, quiero que escojan a una persona famosa. I want you to select a famous person, no importa donde sea, but famous, okay, eh, que ya no esté viva. A person who is not alive. I'll give you one minute. Think about a famous person, but no tiene que, um, like a person who is past, who has already passed away. Alguien que ya falleció. Me regalan confirmación cuando ya lo tengan, cuando ya pensaron in that person. But of course, alguien de quien sepan algo, right? A little bit, al menos donde nació, cuántos años tenía, or something. Or why the person was famous. Ya lo tiene, do you have it? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, perfect. Now, what we're gonna do, guys, is the following. No van a describir a esta persona, you're not going to describe it, sino que los compañeros les van a hacer preguntas. We are going to be asking questions para adivinar quién es la persona. So this is guess the person. Guess the person. But, ¿cómo hago preguntas? How can I ask uh, questions about famous people? Okay, uh, so I need, I need a volunteer. Guys, ¿quién ya tiene listo a la persona famosa? Ok, perfect. Bye. Ivonne, vamos con el suyo. Ok, necesito hacer preguntas a Ivonne para saber quién es esta persona. Ella no me va a dar ideas. She's not going to describe it. Yo le voy a hacer preguntas. Pero como esa persona ya falleció, mi pregunta va a ser en pasado, obviamente. Look at this. Decíamos anteriormente que voy a utilizar um, I was, you were, he was, etc. Pero como estamos hablando de terceras personas, acá solamente puedo usar con estas dos. He was or she was. Para preguntas, voy a cambiar el orden de estos dos. So he was, se convierte, was he. She was, se convierte en, was he. Porque voy a preguntar, because this is going to be a question. No le estoy diciendo, sino que le estoy preguntando, right? Now, quiero saber si era hombre o mujer. Um, guys, ayúdenme a preguntarle a Yvonne. Uh, ¿Cómo le puedo preguntar? Was a man or a woman? Okay. So, Yvonne, was it a man or a woman? Woman. Okay. So, it was a woman. ¿Qué otras preguntas le puedo hacer para saber quién era? Ya sé que es she, right? Entonces, was she? Was she of El Salvador? Okay. From, was she from? From El Salvador? No. Okay. So was, guys, are you there? Was the country born? Ah, very good question. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería la pregunta de a dónde nació? What can be the question? Where did she from? Where? Ah, pero estamos utilizando was. Entonces, where was she born? Ajá, uh -huh. where was she born? Si fuera un hombre, solo le cambio acá, right? Where was he born? Mm -hmm. So, Yvonne, where was she born? Uh, she born, she was born in she was born. Uh -huh. United States. Okay, so she was American. Was she a dancer or a singer? She was a singer. Okay, so she was a singer and she was American. Guys, ayúdennos. Help us here. ¿Qué más puedo preguntar? It's correct to say what time of music what time was she died sing? Oh, eh, en ese caso, como meto verbos diferentes, ya no mm -hmm. sería con was or were. Vamos a utilizar did para ellos. What okay. kind of music did she sing? So what kind of music did she sing? Mm -hmm. What kind of music did she sing? <laughs> Creo que con eso adivinamos, right? Yeah. <laughs> she she sing, she was sing. Mm -hmm. She sang. Text mix. <laughs> Which one? Text mix. Oh, oh, I know oh. it. I know Selena. the answer. Yeah, that's Selena Quintanilla. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Was she American? I thought she was Mexican. No, oh. she she was born in Texas. Oh, yeah, you're right. So she was American. That was a really nice one. Okay. Okay, guys. So, si se fijan, uh, las preguntas son bastante simples. Solamente con was she, yo puedo tener como más detalles. Was she beautiful? Was she very famous? Was she rich? Was she tall? 
right? Was she attractive? And we can like ask a lot of questions about, ¿Puedo preguntar si estaba casada? Was she married? ¿Estaba soltera? Was she single? Eh, tenía 20 años. No. Was she 20 years old? Entonces, I can ask a lot of questions with this. Si fuera un hombre, es lo mismo. Solo le voy a quitar la S. Where was he born? Was he intelligent? Acá en vez de she, lo convierto en he. What kind of music did he sing? Y es lo mismo, right? Exactly the same. Okay, guys. So vamos a trabajarlos en grupo. We're going to work it in groups. Hagámosle pregunta a los compañeros. Obviously, nadie sabe. Nobody knows eh, what you got. And so let's ask those questions. Just a moment. Tenemos eh, cinco minutitos max para que adivinemos. Si no les adivinan, guys, tampoco les dir. <laughs> so don't say it. <laughs> Háganselo, pónganlo difícil. Make it difficult. Okay, guys, cinco minutos. Remember, la pregunta va primero. Was he, was she, right? And the, let's go, 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 guys. Uh, Karen, hágame favor, que es acá, stay here. Ok, teacher, sí, porque no me deja entrar a los grupos. No, no problem. Silvia, eh, que es por acá, ay, oh, ya se fue Silvia. Eh, Jorge, are you with us? Yo creo que se ha levantado un momento. She's not here. Eh, yeah, teacher, sorry. I, I go to the bedroom. Oh, that's fine, but uh, are you available or are you busy? I have a problem to internet connection, teacher. Oh, okay, that's all right. It's lovely. Oh, okay, I understand, that's okay. Uh, Jonathan, are you here with us? I think Jonathan is not here. A minor? I'm here. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me see who else. Catherine, are you here? I think she's not. Okay, so mientras la señal se le estabiliza, Jorge, eh, Karen, you can ask eh, Maynor and vice versa, right? Para que adivinen quiénes son los que tienen. Creo que Joel ya va a regresar and Dalila is not feeling well, so... Guys, mientras tanto, you can get started. Pueden comenzar a preguntar, so you can start. Okay. Uh, minor, uh, was a, me, a man no or si... a woman? Uh, a man. Okay. Um, was a... Estoy, estoy difícil el mío. Ah, was a singer or... or... <laughs> Or a uh, uh, actor. Mary. Uh, I know. Eh, tengo que decir que era. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, was, eh, he was eh, president. President. Mm. Was, was he, he a president of El Salvador? No. Was he a president of the, this continent, in America continent, or Europe? Or... Europe. Europe. Hitler. <laughs> Como le dijo, Como le <laughs> no, no, he wasn't. He was here. Yes. yes. Yes, what? Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Okay. Caesar, lo, lo traje in... para acá, so you can practice with the guys. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, hey, Caesar. Karen. Hello. Hola. Was woman or, or man? A man. Mm. ¿Cómo se diría, digamos, su ocupación? ¿Qué fue su ocupación? Mm, no, tiene que preguntarle, darle la respuesta. I mean, ah, no, tiene que hacer una pregunta cerrada. 
Was he you? Was he occupation? No, sé cómo decir. no, I mean, tiene que ser la pregunta bien específica. Like, was he a doctor? Was he a president? Was he? Tiene que ir haciéndole las preguntas. Ah, uh -huh. uh, okay. Was he an actor? Yes, he was an actor. Um, was he married? Married. Yes, he was married. Yes, he was married. Mm -hmm. Was he actor for Hollywood? Um, could be. He was in Hollywood sometimes. No, all the time. The movie was in Hollywood. Mm. These are you can ask too. Mm. <laughs> mm. Que no sé qué preguntar. Uh, so, she said what, that it's what, a man. Eh, oh, continue, continue, Luis. Es que no sé, no sé cómo plantearla, era de qué género de, de, de película. Oh, sería similar a la que acabamos de hacer de música. So, what kind of movies? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo era la, la pregunta completa, perdón? What kind? What kind? Uh -huh. What kind of movies did the he act in? Ah, pues esa, Karen. Esa <ríe> se le escribió, güey. Para que Por le quede esto. Que, what kind of es movies? Es que se estaba un poquito. What kind of movies did he act in? Comedy. What kind of movies did he act in? What kind of movie did he have? Perdón, Karen. Comedy. No le escucho. Comedy, she said. Comedy, comedy. Um, ¿Qué sort de of comedia que hay amor? I think I know. Oh, I think I know. Was he an old person? Was he old? An old person? Yes. Was he old? He is Robbie Williams. When he died, yes. He had. He was eighty-one years. Eighty-one years. <laughs> This, yes, Jorge. This Robin I don't Williams. know. So, uh, Karen, uh, Jorge is asking if it's Rob, uh, Robin, Robin Williams. Williams, right? yeah. No, he's not American. He was a, no, no, he was an American. What the country? He was from Mexico. A ah, eh, 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 Roberto Gómez. Who? Roberto Gómez No. No. Eh. Mm -hmm. Mexico. Yes, it's a comedy. Enrique Rocha. 
No. <laughs> Ramón Valdez. No. <laughs> I don't uh, know. It was was he an actor from the golden from the golden times in Mexico? Yes, teacher. I know. Did he have black and white movies? Cantinfla. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> okay. Hey, that was a good one. That was a really good oh, yeah. one. <laughs> okay. That was Cantinflas, yeah, right? Yes, Cantinflas. Mm -hmm. Cantinflas. That was Cantinflas. Okay. Okay. Mario, okay. Very Mario good. Moreno. <laughs> Mario Moreno Cantinflas. Uh, ¿Qué nos hace falta? Who are we missing? Uh, Caesar, I think. Yeah. Ready, Indeed. Caesar? Yes, yes, yes okay. yes. okay, guys, let's start with Caesar. Bombard him with questions. <laughs> with men or a girl? It's a man. Okay. Where's he from? He from... He from... And from United States. Was he an actor? Uh, no. And a singer? Yes. Okay. What kind of music did he sing? Como se dice este género? Mm. Um, pop, indie, rock, okay. rock and roll. Yes. Pero mejor digo, pues no sé cómo se llama el género. Reggae. <laughs> And this a uh, rock, alternative rock. Alternative Elvis group. Presley. Was he in a group? Yes. Chester of Linkin Park? No. Uh, John Lennon? Uh, no. Mm. Where is he from, you said? Was he a singer yeah. or tocaba an instrument? Um, he's a... Um, bueno, a singer and... Um, who do you say he tocaba la guitarra? He was a guitarist. Ah, uh -huh, guitarist. He was a guitarist. <clears throat> Is he no was he in Nirvana? Mm, yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kurt Cobain. Yes. Kurt Cobain. Yes. <laughs> oh, pero el que no está vivo. No, no. Se murió a los, a los 27 años. Ah, okay. For <laughs> over, over el club ah, de overdose. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. I thought that he was alive. Wait, entonces, ¿cómo se llama el esposo de, de um, Nicole Kidman? I don't know. Nicole Kidman. Yes, tenía la idea que era el esposo. Nicole oh, Kidman, the Australian woman. Uh, Skid Urban. Oh, that's, siempre los confundo, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, oh, so the, he's dead. All right, all right. That was a really difficult one, but I would want to. Eh, creo que nos falta Jorge, but because of the time, we're going to go back. And then, um, so we're going to have the rest of the guys who are missing later. Give me one second. Just... Yes, let's check something here. Okay. 
fire energy. Okay. Alrighty, guys. Uh, sir, thank you so much for coming back. Gracias por regresar and thank you for joining here. Uh, let me just check something. Okay. Guys, eh, pudieron todos adivinar la persona? Were you able to guess the name of the person? Or todavía les faltaba? Were you missing someone? Well, de seguro, pues si nos faltaban algunos. And uh, what about in the rest? Los pudieron, pudieron adivinarles, guys. Les adivinaron. Ceci, did you get it? Did they get yours? Silvia, adivinaron el de ustedes. So, so, teacher. So, so. <laughs> Amen. Yes, well. Okay. okay. If, uh, in my artist's favorite is the, the, ¿cómo le llama? Ella es, eh, ella es, uh, she she was Britannic. She was British. Uh -huh, British. Uh -huh. oh, she was Amy Winehouse. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan uh -huh. of Amy. So yeah, uh, I, mean, I just yes. heard British and I'm like, oh my god, I yes. really love her music. Sí. Guys, Si nunca han escuchado a Amy Winehouse, tienen que escucharla. You need to listen. Black to black. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I love. Which one? <laughs> Mr. Myers? She was very good. Yes. She has yes. a really beautiful voice, you know. I you love know? the rhythm music. It's like. Rhythm. Rhythm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rhythm. Rhythm. What what do you mean by rhythm? Sorry. The song rhythm. As you say, I'm a rhythm. Yes. I have not heard it, but I'm going to listen to that by the end of the class. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one. Okay. You know, it's okay. Uh, I am married with I'm not good in rehab. So I just listen to those. Yes, I love yeah. that songs too. That's why. So rhythm, you say, como sonido, right? Como ritmo. Yes. Okay, I'm going to listen to that. All right, guys. Oh, but time is over, so we got to go. <laughs> um, Guys, thank you so much. That was very productive. Eh, mañana vamos a avanzar con el resto de eh, verbos, right? Because today no los vamos a tocar. Vamos little by little. And tomorrow, ya iniciamos con la parte edit. So please don't, do not miss classes. Eh, guys, estaba revisando. Me faltan algunos que terminen el midterm exam. Eh, please, no se les olvide completar la evaluación midterm porque es parte de la unidad número dos también. Esta semana terminamos la unidad número tres. So la lección número tres debería estar terminada, right? Para que no nos agarre la tarde y no se nos acumule sobre todo, guys. Hagan una diaria, van a sentir más fácil, en vez que hagan 10 de una sola vez, que es como, ay, Dios mío, no, no paso, right, no avanzo. Vertical, pues. It's very important. Teacher, eh, sorry. Dígame. ¿Vamos en la 10 de la, de la tarea o en cuál yes. vamos? Y yes. ah. el día de ahora es la sesión número 11. Eh, so, okay. iniciamos con la número 3. Aparece ahí como sección 3. Uh -huh. Es la número 11. Ok, guys, eh, solo les tomo asistencia, me regalan confirmación verbal, please, y su camarita, if that's possible. Eh, me see, Silvia Inés. Present, teacher. Thank you, Silvia Estela. Teacher, present. Thank you, very nice to see your faces, I like it. Sandra. Present. Thank you, present. minor. But I saw my minor two. Thank you. Catherine. I think I saw Carla too. Gracias, um, you. Gracias, Miss. Uh, Juan Carlos. Here. Thank you. Oh, I can siempre digo Juan Amaya. I was like, who is Juan Carlos? <laughs> yes. Okay, got him. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you, Jorge. Present. Thank you, Jonathan. Present. Thank you, Joel. 
Paul was here. Present teacher. Gracias, Ivan. Dalila. Present. Gracias, Ivonne. Gracias, Mrs. Mejores. Present. Gracias, Mrs. Ceci. Present, Miss. Uh, thank you, and Mr. Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so in the meantime, eh, gracias por la asistencia. Eh, Silvia y Nancy me regalo un par de minutitos, por favor, para el one on one. Eh, a los demás estamos dismissed, guys. Que descansen, que disfruten su noche. Have a really good one. See you tomorrow. Do not See forget the platform. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, teacher. Dígame, Miss. I have a problem again with the. The homework class. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I can. If uh, do me a favor, envíe la captura, send the, the screenshot, y mañana la reporto con soporte. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Send it over. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Silvia. So le voy a robar un par de minutitos acá para el one on one, because I think it's very important. Eh, well, normalmente el one on one es como para revisar si hay algún tema con el que le podamos ayudar, que esté teniendo dificultades, pero quiero iniciar mis I want to get started, eh, agradeciéndole por la attendance, eh, muy buena asistencia so far, creo que la misi, no, llevamos una muy buena asistencia, so your attendance is really good. Eh, con las tareas, eh, solo creo que nos falta la dos, ¿verdad? Por no, eso. Revisa, eso le quería preguntar cuando estábamos en clases. Se supone que ya terminé toda la unidad, pero si no, alguna se me habrá saltado, porque supuestamente hasta el test dice que ahí es donde me decepcioné un poquito porque traté la última parte, la cuarta parte. Pero siempre me salía uh -huh. negativo. Ah, no, ya está. Permítame, permítame. Uh, ok. No, sí, tiene razón. No sé por qué me parecía hace un momento que me faltaba. Sí, la unidad 1 y la unidad 2 estamos completa. El uh -huh. midterm tiene 85. Es una passing score también. Entonces estamos bien. We are good. So, gracias por completarlas. You know, thank you so much por ir al día. En algo que me alegra muchísimo es que en las últimas clases eh, le escucho que está participando más. So you're participating more. Le escucho más activa, you know, uh, giving opinions, sharing, preguntando. Entonces, súper bueno. I really like it. Uh, so, porque se ve el oh, interés. Right? Esto creo, teacher, que significa también que lo logro comprender. A veces cuando estoy callada es porque no he asistido o me ha pasado algo, digamos, con un pedacito de la clase y entonces... Okay estoy queriendo comprender, pero de forma general, teacher, este, yo quería agradecerle y pedirle casi siempre que, que este, porque para mí la comprensión es como casi siempre usted lo hace, pero en la parte que me creo que yo no estuve como muy pendiente fue con el 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 Ken y el en el con el con, sí. Uh -huh. sí, eso es exactamente esos dos porque al hacer el examen y comprendí la parte de los des con los dis dis and dis ajá, okay. lo logré comprender pero eh, a la hora del examen como este eh, me gusta cuando Cabal siempre usted nos hace, o quizás por eso le digo, quizás yo no estuve en ese momento que usted nos dio el ejercicio porque siempre lo hace. Por ejemplo, lo que nos hace para que comprendamos con los, la forma de to be con el pasado, como lo vimos ahora, porque eso me ayuda a ir estructurando mis ideas en la cabecita. Uh -huh. para, entonces, en esa partecita, yo sí me perdí porque... Eh, por lógica me fui en el examen, okay. pero eso es lo que yo sentí un poquito de debilidad, aparte de que yo sé que me falta un poco más repasar porque no tengo mucho este, vocabulario, ¿verdad? pero eso 
eh, un poquito. Sí, comprendo que el can, el call, es uh -huh. la forma que es para preguntar, pero me, para hacerlo como más comprensible para mí es con, con la forma que usted siempre nos explica, con uh -huh. los el do, we, they, todo eso es para poder saber casi siempre en la oración cómo, cómo utilizarlo. El, pero la pregunta sería como con la forma, eh, como la estructura o el uso. ¿Cómo se utilizan creo, ambos? ¿O el, cómo se estructuran es como, ambos? Yo creo que es cómo se usa. Ok, ok. Vale, si vos revisamos. Um, de hecho, ambos tienen muchos usos, but uh, normalmente la diferencia solo está en el significado. So, let me take a look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, um, con los pronombres no hay ningún cambio. Entonces, no importa si es primera, segunda, tercera persona, es exactamente lo mismo. Eh, la diferencia es que si yo utilizo Ken, Ken lo puedo utilizar para hablar de habilidades, right? Pero también Ken significa permiso. So, normalmente es en el uso. So, this is abilities. And permission, right? So, cuando usted dice, ah, yo puedo cocinar, so I can cook. Pero también es para pedir permiso, right? Or, eh, ¿puedes venir mañana? ¿Me puedes ayudar? So necesito la aprobación de alguien. En el caso de could, es exactamente lo mismo que can. Ambos son auxiliares. Con ambos necesito verbos. Solo que could es el past del can. El pasado. Yes. Pero si yo digo, por ejemplo, ahora yo puedo nadar, I can swim, pero en el pasado yo podía jugar soccer, por ejemplo. So, I could play soccer in the past. Now I cannot. Entonces, el could lo puedo utilizar como el pasado de can. Y también lo puedo utilizar eh, para habilidades, right? Si fuera pasado. Pero la única diferencia es el nivel de um, qué tan formal how formal o qué mm. tan amable usted quiere preguntar. Entonces, no es tanto en la estructura. La estructura en realidad no va a cambiar con ninguno de esos, pero sí va a cambiar el nivel de formalidad o el nivel de, um, de suavidad con el que usted diga la oración, right? So, I'm going to write it here, formal. This is formal. Y el can, pues sí es formal. Pues sí está bien, ¿no? Pero no es formal. No es eh, algo bien polite. Eh, si usted, sí, por ejemplo. Comprendí. Uh -huh. yeah, es que so, yo me confundía. Es, es que no, ellos no, no son, eh, no es que cambie el significado. El significado es lo mismo, pero lo que va a sonar diferente es solamente eso. El nivel de formalidad o el nivel de, um, how do you say polite in Spanish? De cortesía. ¿Qué tan cortés es algo o no, right? Usted perfectamente puede preguntar, ¿puedo salir? Can I go out? Eh, sin problema. Y usted entiende, ah, can I go out? Me está pidiendo permiso, quiere salir. Pero can I go out? Es un poco rude en un ambiente de trabajo. Entonces lo que hacemos es cambiar a could. No cambio el significado. Estoy pidiendo siempre permiso. Pero could es más formal que can. Eso es todo, right? Can I go out? Could I go out? Podría, como en español decimos, puede venir. Pero ¿cómo, suena usted? ¿cómo escucha usted que le digan, Silvia puede venir? O Silvia podría venir. Uh -huh. Puede venir mañana. Podría venir mañana. So, es lo mismo, le estoy pidiendo exactamente lo mismo, pero uno suena mucho más cortés que el otro. Right? Entonces solamente es eso, el nivel de um, qué tan polite y qué tan formal sean ambos. Ajá. Pero la estructura es la misma. Después de esta, usted siempre va a tener un verbo. Por ejemplo, I can go, I could go. Yo podría ayudarte. I could help you. I can help you. Uh -huh. so, la estructura es la misma. Sí, es que yo estaba confundida. Creía que a diferencia de los otros, cambiaba. Entonces, allí me había un poquito bloqueado. Ah, ok. Ajá, entonces, 
sí, hoy ya entendí que la estructura es idéntica, sino que cada uno es el pasado prácticamente. Yes, es el pasado y es más cortés. <risa> Exacto, no es tanto en forma, no es en gramática, sino es más que todo en eh, nivel de formalidad, right? O nivel de cortesía con el que se pregunta. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Déjame ver si le encuentro un ejercicio que se adapte, you know, para que podamos practicar un poquito más. Veamos si el tema está claro y si no, lo volvemos a revisar without a problem. Mm -hmm. We can do that. Cualquier duda, Miss, eh, hágala su pregunta, no se quede con ella, please. Ask questions. Mm -hmm. si, si hay algo que no está claro o eh, que en el momento que usted entró uh, ya se vio, pero todavía usted no lo ha comprendido, eh, no tenga pena, you know, say it, con gusto lo revisamos otra vez, porque muchas veces la duda que tiene alguien es la duda de todos. Entonces, dígalo sin pena, sin vergüenza. ¿eh? Yeah. No, and, and it's very important, because entre más solventamos dudas, you know, más aclaramos el, y podemos ya seguir más seguro, ¿verdad? That's really, really important. Ok, Miss, so, le agradezco enormemente, ya le voy a buscar un ejercicio y se lo mando, right? And uh, lo siento, ya le robé más tiempo. No, no está bien. Solo so, so much. creo que tendré como quizás como tarde que retirarme de la, del curso porque estoy finalizando este, un periodo de contrato en la empresa. Uh -huh. Entonces mm -hmm. creo que por la documentación, por este tema es lo que estoy viendo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ok. Pregunte con recursos humanos, porque por lo general, si ellos le dan el aval para el otro módulo, usted aproveche lo que está gratis, ¿no? que usted tiene la beca. Una vez su empresa le firme la documentación, por ejemplo, para este módulo, usted ya tiene asegurado hasta la finalización. Así uh -huh. que si en este periodo, en estas dos semanas, usted termina su contrato, usted siempre conéctese, you know, eh, ya está garantizado el cupo dentro de este módulo. Para el próximo, hable con su empresa, right? si ellos le permiten, que bien por ellos. Y que bien por usted, entonces la cuestión es aprovecharlo también. Eh, bueno. Si en algún momento you know, eh, no logra encontrar, nosotros ofrecemos más, uh, más cursos. And, uh, hay uno eh, de una hora, eh, que es totalmente gratuito también. Eh, y no es necesario que la empresa le dé la, el aval. Entonces puede consultar con los compañeros de administración para ver qué otras opciones le ofrecen, right? Mientras eh, logra encontrar eh, uh -huh. otra empresa, para right? Que le brinde, ajá, seguro. But eh, in the meantime, eh, mi recomendación es si ya empezó, si ya dio el primer paso, ya lleva cuatro módulos, que lo más difícil es eso, decidirse, dar el paso y decir, me voy a conectar, voy a aprender. Uh, no se detenga, mis, don't stop. Porque si no voy a decir, ah, ya no quiero. <risa> Entonces, claro. ahorita de aprovecharlo ya. Eh, si hay cursos de una hora, de 7 a 8, si no me equivoco, y de 8 a 9, o de 9 a 10, I don't remember very well, eh, pero los compañeros la pueden asesorar, como qué programa usted puede unirse para que siempre siga avanzando, right? Eh, y luego, más adelante, pues se vuelve a incorporar al programa sin problema. Uh -huh. Gracias, Silvia. So hopefully it works. You're welcome. So, guys, muchas gracias, Silvia. Gracias por su tiempo. Eh, la dejo ir para que ya descanse también. Eh, nos sí, sí, sí. vemos mañana. Ya le voy a enviar el ejercicio. Or tomorrow. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Have a good night. Bye.